Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of the series where we're recreating the classic game of columns using SpriteKit. And uh, today I want to implement gesture controls. It will uh, be a quick uh, episode. And the reason is this, so we have our game and we, well, we have uh, controls. Uh, however, the UI is getting cluttered because these, we have these big uh, buttons. Uh, we have a score, perhaps you also want a high score. I definitely want to uh, show the next uh, set of gems that will, be, will, will fall. So there's just not enough space. And uh, as you can see, we also have the, the, the try again button here. It's getting really crowded uh, and I don't think it looks very nice. And I think it's cool to see how to implement gesture controls. And one of the great things is it's not that hard. So let's start with our cycle button because that's perhaps the simplest um, gesture. We have this button here. Um, all we need is we have our sprite view and let's add an on tap gesture. And this one just says scene.cycle. So we'll keep the rest for now. We can get rid of the UI parts later, but let's see what if this helps. So now I can click the play field and indeed this cycles. So that's nice. Um, I also want to detect dragging or gestures to swipe left and right, which are in essence uh, drag gestures. And that's also quite easy. Uh, we have a gesture modifier for our view and we can say what type of gesture uh, we want. We have, want a drag gesture and this one needs an on ended closure that tells what happens when the drag ends. And this gets a value in, that's how far you dragged. And then we can say if value dot translation dot width is more than zero. So if it's po uh, positive, uh, then we go to the right, else if the value is less than zero, we go left. So let's see what happens. So we can still tap, but now we can drag this thing around. So we can really play the game just using gestures. And indeed, these ones still work, but really, we don't need them anymore. So let's see if we can actually score some points. Okay, we can, of course, still lose the game. And this button still works. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that uh, UI stuff now. So we don't need this H tag for left, right anymore. We don't need the cycle button anymore. Let's do it one piece at a time. So let's build and run to see what this looks like now. Okay, so we only have the cycle button left. Let's get rid of the cycle button. Let's run. And we have uh, only our score left. And our touch controls. And that's it for this episode. So it's really amazing. Well, at, uh, while preparing this episode, it, uh, I was amazed at how easy it uh, was to implement these, uh, these gesture controls. Uh, how little code is actually needed to do that in SwiftUI. So that's, uh, for me, I, I was really impressed. 
Um, next time I want to work on implementing levels. So as you progress in the game, the, the speed should pick up, but also the amount of points you can score should also pick up. But that's for next time. For now, thanks for watching and have a great weekend.